<laughs> All right, welcome back to SOS. I'm Stas on BA. And say hi, I'm Drew. Hi, I'm Drew. All right, today I'm, I've got my assistant with me, and we are putting together first aid kits for the kids. And I'm going to pull you over here and we'll explain. This is for the children's bug out bag. Not too many people do this sort of thing, and I've I've gotten a lot of attention for it. So I'm gonna pull you over here, and I'll explain what I've got. Okay, Nurse Drew, what do you think all this is for? No, you know for bow bags. <laughs> She's gonna do the video today. No. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She's not doing the video. You know for doctors, huh? That's for the doctor. That's right. You know for daddy. Okay. What these, this is one of the things that I was talking about in a live chat. Everybody's got their Israeli bandages, right? This is your smaller version of that. Don't push the button, sweetie. There we go. Uh, the smaller version of that. And uh, you look for Dakar bandage. Yeah, it's a bandage by Dakar, IDF, Israeli Army. That's pretty much what you look for. I'll, if I can find them, I'll put the description. But it's another Israeli-style bandage. It comes with the two straps. It's smaller. It's more compressed. And it's for smaller locations, but smaller lacerations. So you don't use that bigger Israeli bandage. Everybody's got the bigger one. And I actually found the smaller ones. And uh, I'll put the link in the description below so you can go find these. But I figured these would be more appropriate. All right, Drew. Drew, come here. Boo-boo bear. Stick your arm out like this for daddy. Here. Turn the camera over here. Hang on. Let's kind of show. All right. You kind of see the width. If she had something going on with her arm, that's the perfect size for that. And you can wrap this up. And the two straps also works as a tourniquet. So if you look at, you know, a small child's arm, you're going to have, this is going to be the perfect fit for that. And there's nobody else that makes one like that. Yeah. All right. You're good. Thank you, sweetheart. All right. All right. This is uh, Celox, and this works to stop bleeding fast. Small package, small amount, small person. It's it, It'll do the job. You can get these little packs. These are the two gram weight packs. And I'll put that in the description below, too, if any of you are building kits for kids. All three of these are the same. This is just iodine for cleaning up. It's 10%. And I, d I don't think you might. I'll put something in there for these probably if I can find them. But these are the individuals. We bought packs of them. So in case we're just taking care of one injury, you can just rip one of these open and break it. And, and it absorbs into the cotton. And you rub it in just like that. These are these are pretty, this pretty simple stuff. You don't want... Now, I'm not going to carry around green soap with my kids and, you know, so that stuff's in my bag. It's in, it's in my, my trauma kit and all the other stuff that I have is in my trauma kit. So I, the basics is all the kids need. They don't need anything too crazy. You know, they're not going to be performing operations or anything. We get the point, right? Uh, simple butterfly bandage. And then you've got the individual bandages just for boo-boos. These are bigger, a little bit bigger. Uh, covers a little bit larger area. Uh, these are uh, uh, these are uh, the sutures, the pill and stick sutures, and then some two by three gauze pads, which is all you're really going to need. Uh, a couple of these big boys right here will be fine for uh, a small child. And your tape, this is just your med standard medical tape. Leave it in the package. Don't open it up. And that way it stays sterile. You can you can uh, you know utilize these together. So these with this, it doesn't matter how. So. <laughs> yeah, you just keep on talking, kid. Uh, but if you've got this, it works with your with your bandage. Pretty simple stuff. All I'm doing is putting all this. You shush over there. Stop repeating what I'm saying. Uh, simple Ziploc bag. Throw all the stuff in it. I didn't do this before, so let's just see how it all fits. You could just probably stack it all up, kind of like this. 
But any extra items I'm probably going to need, it's all going to be in my kit. So there's no need for me to carry a lot of stuff the kid on the on the kids. Spot like that. Here. No, that's it. That goes in the other kit, sweetie. Oh. oh. Pretty simple stuff. And then you just chunk that in their little bug out bag. And then well, that's one last hurt. thing that you'll have to worry about because oh, yeah. your kids already have it. Yeah. I and there you have it. There's three miniature first aid kits. Yeah, we just need that. For all three kids. I don't have to carry everything, right? And it's so like I said, all the other heavy duty medical oh, stuff is going to be with Sippy. It's going to be with me. The, the kids are not going to be required Sippy. to. You could get individual eye wash and all this stuff because they make all that stuff. You can buy all of it, individual little uh, single serving things of everything. But it just does not make it does not make any sense with you know kids kids this size carrying all that plus you've already got their food their water and all that stuff so just keep all that stuff in mind so i'm trying to keep it light but they still have yeah. stuff medically to take care of them and uh any other stuff i'll pull out of my own pack so there we go all right you're watching sos and stats rmba Yay. say uh say i'm boo boo bear i'm boo bear <laughs> say thank you thank you all right you guys take it easy god bless god bless